Hi, I'm Dart with Helia, and today we're going to look at how to program uh, the buttons on your Yealink phone with the 3CX phone system. Now, Yealink phones, depending on the model that you have, whether it be the T27, the T29, uh, T46, T48, they have a number of buttons. Uh, around the screen and in addition to that you can have a sidecar expansion module which adds additional buttons and those buttons can be used for speed dial they can be used for uh, accessing other extensions on the phone system logging in and out of queues additional line keys a whole raft of features so we're gonna have a quick look at it. let's jump right in alright so this is the Yealink T46 phone uh, right here, and then we've got an expansion um, uh, unit, the EXP40. I've also have over here uh, my headset, my Jabber Wireless uh, 9470 uh, headset base, and that's what I use to record this audio, and it's always plugged into my phone as well. So we're going to have a look at programming the buttons on here. Uh, the instructions are the same for other phones as well, other Yealink phones. So we've got the T27. Uh, phone, the T29 phone, the T48 phone, the instructions are all the same. So on this particular phone, we've got five buttons along one side, we've got five buttons along the other side, and this is uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten buttons, so an additional twenty buttons. Now on top of that, we have page, pages of buttons. So on this one here, the lower right buttons is uh, uh, gives us three pages. Uh, and so what that does is that we've got nine here, nine on the second page nine on the third page on the expansion module we've got 20 here and then another 24 for 40 so uh, we can program the buttons on the phone on the phone but we cannot program the phones on the expansion or the buttons on the expansion model we'll have to look at that doing that a different way so let's let's jump into this real quickly uh, we're gonna press the menu button we're gonna go over to features and then down to four DSS keys and you can see here we've got uh, line three uh, to line five then we got line 10 15 20 25 up to 27 so we're going to program the last key here which is 27 I'm going to select uh, enter and uh, right now it's set up for a speed dial for uh, Stemp and Company so we're going to change that to uh, a BLF to monitor an extension. The label is going to be uh, uh, Donna. That's uh, that's my wife. So we're going to press the three key to get the D coming up. We press it multiple times, and then we have a capital case D, and then a A, and a W. Um, N and then an A again. Okay, uh, the value is the extension number, which in this case is 201, and then uh, the extension will put 201 in there as well. So that's all there is to. We're going to save that, and now if we go all the way back out, and then we look, well, there we are. We're on page three. This is button 27. You can see it now it says Donna and the light is green saying that she's off the line okay so that's how you program the, uh, the buttons directly on the phone now we're gonna have a look at how we can program the buttons on 3CX uh, including for the expansion module okay so here is the 3CX management console this is the same one that you use as your uh, administrator but we can also log in as an individual user so I'm going to put my extension in and the password I'll show you where to get this password right now uh, so I'm gonna you can see here we have access to the extension and call reports and that's it as a user so I'm going to select my extension edit and then go over to options options at the bottom here you can see it says access password for 3CX web services uh, click this button to expose the password and then uh, you cannot change this password as a user your administrator has to also it, it has another option you're allowed 3CX management console access that needs to be selected to uh, be able to access uh, this page and make these changes okay so we're going to go over to the BLF 
busy lab fields uh, page. And what you'll notice here, here's, here's the different uh, buttons on the phone. Uh, it goes beyond the 27 uh, that we saw on the other uh, page. In fact, uh, you go up to 40 and then we can select this button here, more BLF buttons. And uh, when we add more and more and more buttons, you can see they get added to the bottom up here. And so that's where you're able to uh, access all of the buttons on the expansion uh, module as well. Okay, so the second thing I'd like to point out is the first button here is Agent Login and Logout. Now, if you have a look at my phone in the screen here, uh, you can see that uh, Q in, uh, that's my login to Q button. That's actually the third button on here. And that's because line one, line two uh, buttons cannot be changed through 3CX. So the numbering's a little bit off. It starts at one and it goes all the way through here. But to make a change, uh, what we do, let's have a look at my buttons again here. I go through to uh, Kevin Nickel. And then if I go to the next page, uh, we have Kitchen. Mel Madden, and then uh, Dinner, which is uh, one that I've manually set so it doesn't show up here. We're going to add a button to the next one down, or two down, uh, which would be here, button number 11. So I can simply select an option. Uh, I can put in a speed dial, and uh, you know what? Let's uh, put in a speed dial for, for Helia. We're, we actually need to put a custom speed dial here. So we're going to select this. It's going to ask for the number. So the, our number here is 4366878895. Uh, six, and this is uh, Helia Reception. Okay, so we're going to select that. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and hit OK. All right, so uh, the button has been set. The uh, next step is we have to reboot the phone. As an administrator, if you're doing this as an administrator, you have access to the phone's uh, menu over here, and you can simply go click on the phone, find the phone, hit reprovision, and it will pull down the file. I don't have that option here uh, as a user, so what I need to do, the easiest way to do this is to unplug the, uh, the power on the phone. You can see there, uh, we are now unplugged, and then I'm gonna plug it back in. And when I plug it back in, the phone is gonna reboot, and it's gonna get its settings, and part of those settings are, is going to be the updated, uh, the updated uh, button profile. So I'm gonna pause this while it reboots, and, uh, and let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, it's rebooted. What you can see here is the uh, light is, is uh, blinking in the top corner here. Uh, and what that means is when it's blinking, it's getting a new provisioning file, and now it's rebooting uh, once again. So while it was blinking like that, the changes hadn't been applied. If you went looking for the buttons, you would not find them. Uh, uh, we'll be right back with the second reboot. Okay, we're back. So, um, you can see the, the message light is again blinking, but it's blinking slower. Uh, that means I've got a message waiting now. If it blinks fast, it means it's reprovisioning. I'm going to go to the second page. You can see there's a button now that says Helia. If I press that button, it's dialing uh, the number to our call center and reception. So, so I'm going to hang that up. And... Um, that if you have any questions come visit us online or give us a call uh, this is Dar with Helia uh, showing you how to set up the buttons on your Lele phone with 3CX phone system thanks for